Alright ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASC, the series where I answer your questions. Let's get straight into the video, starting with Mr. Clone Studios, and he says, What made you start a YouTube channel? Why does anyone do anything? Sheer absolute boredom! Truth be told, I don't really have a solid answer for this question other than I had experience with knowing how to edit and upload videos onto YouTube, and so I was kind of like... Well, since I know how to do it, I might as well try it, and because I thought, hey, you know, it might be fun, and so I did it, and yeah, I've been doing it since. It's almost been three years. Well, I say almost. In November, it'll be three years, so. Our next question comes from Jawa, and he says, when the Skywalker Saga eventually comes out, will you be using footage of it for future ASAs? Yeah, probably. I couldn't imagine why not, because, like, regardless if I get it, and use footage or not, I'm going to get the game. So I might as well, right? It doesn't cost anything to, like, record, and then I can use it as gameplay. So it's like, I might as well, because I'm going to play the game as soon as it comes out, when I can get it. So I would imagine I'm going to. So yeah. And then our next question comes from Treeman66, and he says, What is your favorite type of Star Wars trooper? I like anything Imperial, so, like, Imperial Stormtroopers, Death Troopers, Scout Troopers, pretty much just any Imperial trooper. I like it. So, yeah. And then our next question comes from the Rita and Skeeter, and he says, Love the video and the series. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much, my dude. Um, and he says, My question is, would you... Wait, nope, I messed that up. My question is, what would be your top three pick for a LEGO CMF series for Star Wars? I don't really like the idea of a CMF, CMF series, collectible minifigure series for Star Wars for the reason that I don't want to be able to get, or rather not be able to, I don't want to have to worry about, oh, if I get, let's say, 20 packs, I might get like three Obi-Wans and two R2s and, you know, so I would say that my top three pick would be like a brand new version of a shock trooper with a gorgeous helmet, maybe like a bark trooper with a new redesign and maybe like, um just a regular stormtrooper but like with a new helmet design just basically non-named characters because i don't want named characters in a cmf series so if we get a cmf series and it has like anakin and obi-wan and stuff i'm not going to be too happy it, and even if their prints are exclusive to that cmf series because then if you buy like a bunch of bags online because that's usually how i had to get them it'll be randomly picked for me and then i won't be able to feel the bags and so that'd be a nightmare because then i'd get duplicates and then also if you want to buy a specific one on like ebay that can cost money so it would just be kind of crazy so um i know that wasn't your question but i basically answered it if i like the idea of a cmf series for star wars so basically to answer your question really just any non-named characters like stormtroopers especially so but as long as they have a redesign of the helmet because i swear i talk about this helmet every single episode now but i hate that new helmet design design i swear like every other week is about that helmet now right anyways i'm gonna move on topic now so thank you for that question though um and it's, this question's from ikai starlet and he says have you seen the new one division show i sure have and as of now the show is over and it was fantastic it was amazing a great awesome wonderful show if you have not seen it i would recommend that you go check it out especially if you're into Marvel. I'm sure there's someone out there that thinks that the show will be like all the other Marvel shows and not tie in with the movies, so that's why I'm not going to watch it. But it actually does tie in with the movies. So if you like the movies, go watch the show, right? I like it. So anyways, the next question comes from Jimmy J, and he says, who is your favorite character to play on in Star Wars Battlefront 2? Honestly, I don't really know because I don't play a lot of Battlefront 2. It's been quite a while since I've played, but... I always have fond memories of Kylo Hi. Ren, so I think Kylo Ren's my favorite character to play, especially like in co-op. I know that's where all the babies play, but hey, um, I like co-op, okay? So Kylo Ren's just really fun in co-op, so I'm going to say Kylo Ren. Um, our next question comes from Burner Builds, and he says, Thoughts on the 2012 Jabba's Palace? For some reason, I absolutely love it, and I always wanted it. Honestly, I'd suggest that if you can ever get your hands on it, get it, because it's kind of expensive. Um, so there was a lot of like controversy with the set when it first came out uh, um, because of the dancing Twi'leks. You got to be careful about that. Apparently that set's offensive. I don't really get why because that's how it was in the movie. Anyways, so I would recommend getting that set. I would like to get it. It's like anywhere in between like 200 and like maybe like $500 on eBay. So 
Yeah, um, kind of expensive, but maybe you'll get a really good deal someday. So if you ever get the chance, I'd recommend getting it. Um, I hope to get it someday. That'd be a really cool set for a review. I think it's a really cool set. It's got lots of minifigures. The the palace looks really cool. It comes with that really cool looking Rancor. Um, it's just such a great set, honestly. So it's sad that Lego had to recall it or whatever because people got but hurt about it. Pretty weenie. Anyways, we're going to go off that topic now and next question comes from Bean Bricks and he says, do you ever plan on making a mock? If not, who is your favorite mock builder? So I'm actually going to answer both questions. So um, I'll answer the first one first. So good news and bad news. The good news is, yes, I am going to be building a mock. The bad news is I don't know when because for once it's not my fault. It's Lego's fault. Um, I ordered some pick a brick on Lego. So it depends on how long it takes me to get that. It might take like two months. I ordered some pick a brick for an order or I ordered an some pick a brick um, pieces for a video that I want to show you guys like on February 3rd and it's still not here um, and we're like almost into the second week of March now so I don't really know what's going to happen so it might take like two months so I will be building a mock but I don't know when um, and then to answer your second question I don't really have a particularly favorite mock builder I just like all the smaller channels because they're more, I guess, like kind of like relatable with the mocks that they build. Like that could be something that I could potentially make, you know, versus the really big channels that, and I'm not saying they actually do, but I'm just using this for the video, um, spend like a million dollars on pieces to make these ginormous mocks. Though they look really cool, it's something I would never be able to do, you know? Um, and so I actually prefer the smaller channels that make the small little mocks. And so, yeah, I'm going to be building a small little mock, but it might not be for like three months so lego lego but when it comes it will be epic and i think everyone will love it i hope um so anyways our next question comes from lego davera studios and he says what is the most iconic star wars sound in your opinion like lightsaber sounds or yoda's death scream etc um i think i'm gonna go with the tie fighter i really love the way tie fighters sound they just they're oh so cool. They're really, really nice. Um, I just love that sound. So, TIE Fighters for me. Um, I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that. What's your favorite Star Wars sound? Comment down below, as well as your questions, of course. And our last question of the day comes from that unpopular opinion. And he says, Hot take, Season 7 of The Clone Wars is overrated, and Darth Maul's takeover of Mandalore in Season 5 is better than the Siege of Mandalore in Season 7. What are your thoughts? Honestly, I don't really care because I just love Star Wars as a whole, like, and especially the Clone Wars, so I, I loved them both equally. I loved Season 7, of course, but I also loved Season 5. For me, I kind of get what you're talking about. It did seem a little, like, rushed and a little bit, not boring, but kind of like, we could have gotten more, I guess, but... Um, it was still really cool to even get Season 7. You know, Season 7 was potentially never going to happen. So just to get Season 7 was cool, right? Um, so I really liked it. And so I just love Star Wars, though. So it's hard for me to ever judge, you know. Um, but so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all so very much for your questions and for watching, of course. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. You know, all that fun stuff. And ask a question or two for the next episode and I'll pin my favorite to the top. But that's it. So thank you all. Have a wonderful day.